Hey guys, this is Eli from Inframer.com and in today's video series, we're gonna be learning how to integrate Framer without setup in order to create a membership site. By the end of this tutorial series, you will have a fully functioning membership website just like this one. Now let's explore all the features that this integration offers. So as you can see, this is our homepage. We're currently logged out, so there is a login button. This pop-up is provided by Outsetter. We have a sign up with Google button for Got Password. We have a Get Access button, which takes us to a pop-up where we could choose our desired membership plan. We could change the payment from monthly to yearly. We also have pricing tables set up. Each of these pricing tables has its own pop-up setup. So clicking starter, for example, would take us to a pop-up where starter plan has been selected by default. Clicking Pro would take us to a pop-up where Pro has been selected by default. And the same for free. So let's log in and explore the dashboard, the login area. So I've already created an account. I'm gonna log in. After we log in, we're going to be redirected to the dashboard. Now we have three types of content, free content, starter content, and pro content. Access to these are provided depending on the membership level of the current user. So for example, if we click on profile plan, we can see this user is now on the free plan okay also note that we have a logout button in here and this nice profile pop-up which allows us to change multiple profile formation Now, since this is a free user, we are showing them an advertisement. So we're showing elements based on the user access level. This advertisement is only shown for free users. We also have a locked variant of an element. So for example, this is something that only pro users can access, but instead of hiding it, we're showing a locked variant uh, saying this content is only available for pro users upgrade to see content now in here we have links to different pages so these pages are protected based on the access level so before we're, we were hiding elements right so we will learn both how to hide elements on a specific page and how to protect specific pages and give access only to specific membership levels. So let's view free content. As you can see, we're able to see this page since we're already on the free plan. Now, if we try to access the starter content, we're gonna be redirected to this access denied page. This is a custom page where we're asking the user to upgrade to starter or pro. So we're gonna be setting up custom access denied pages depending on the membership level. 
So in this case, we're asking them to upgrade to either starter or pro. Again, if we try to access the pro content, we will be redirected to this upgrade to pro membership uh, page, right? So let's go back to the dashboard. Let's try to upgrade our membership level in order to access different content. All right, so as you can see here, for uh, this locked content, if we click here, it would lead us to the plan upgrade pop-up, which has this specific plan already selected for us. Before upgrading to Pro, I'm gonna upgrade to Starter. So Profile, Plan, Change Plan, Starter, and Complete Change Plan. Now we've been upgraded to Starter. As you can see, the advertisement is now hidden since we're only showing ads to free members. Now we have a special bonus, which is a starter bonus. So in this case, this is still locked since we're still uh, not pro, right? We're on the starter plan. Now let's see, we've upgraded ourselves to starter. In this case, this content would be accessible. So as you can see, we now can access this content If we go back, try to access Pro, again, it will take us to the upgrade page because we're not Pro users. So let's go back to the dashboard. Before going to the dashboard, I'm going to show you something as well. So if you remember, we had the view plan button in here, right? But we're also going to learn how to show elements based on the login status. So since we're logged in in here, we replace this view plan button with a go to dashboard button. So clicking it would take us to the dashboard. If we log out, we will see a view plans instead. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Let's this time upgrade to pro. So click here and see how this content will be unlocked. Complete plan change. And click OK. And as you can see, the pro content has been unlocked and now we have access to this pro bonus. Now, if we go to this page, to the link page, we also can access this pro page, right? So this is our integration. We will learn how to protect specific pages. We will learn how to show different elements based on access level. We will also learn how to show unlocked and unlocked variant how to set up our dashboard profile logout link etc and also how to show content based on a user being logged in or logged out as you know this is our first video series on framer we're planning a lot of more free content for the future so don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. That's it for now. Bye bye.